Okay, so not having it back with another Call of Duty video. Yoush! Damn it! I am a member of Yoush. I'm part of the movement. I just got killed really quickly there. This is me playing headquarters on Nuketown 24 7, double XP weekend. This video is hot off the presses. Uh, I, I recorded it at normal speed and it was like almost 15 minutes, and I was like, there's no fucking way nobody's gonna sit here and. And watch all this shit. This literally is the best game I've ever played in Call of Duty. I had over 40, I almost had 50 kills. I can't even put this in the category of Tales of an Average COD player because shit, this is about above average to me. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not one of the guys who every time I upload a video, it's like epically destruction. Look at how many dogs and hinds and. Well, you can't get dogs and hinds. Look at how many chopper gunners and dogs I have. I'm not one of those people. And I'm saying it's cool. If you're that good at this game, that's fucking awesome. I wish I was that good at this game, you know. But I'm not. And I accept that. Every time I get a chopper gunner, it's an event in my life. Like, I remember that shit. Last time I got a chopper gunner was on Summit. And I was like, yes, I remember this. Like, it was yesterday. But this game is really good. Um, I haven't really played headquarters that much. In fact, there's a point in this game where we capture the headquarters, and I had totally forgot that you get points for capturing the headquarters, and I thought the game was giving me free kills. I was like, this game is glitched, but it's in my favor, so I'm not going to say anything. I actually sped this game up a little bit in theater mode, and I tried to do the third person and first person and free camera, and I really... You know, yeah, like I slowed it down when I started killing people and shit. I tried to really give it a, a really good atmosphere and effects to it. Because they give you, like, a lot of stuff. Like, right there, I slowed it down so I can, so you can see me shoot that guy. And I called him a napalm strike in really dramatic fashion. I like this. Uh, you, you know, this is a Xbox 360 gameplay. And I wanted to start, I wanted to talk about ghost pro because i got ghost pro and i use it on xbox i actually end up getting it on ps3 and a little tip when they when, when you have to shoot down the 30 uh, um enemy aircraft the way i went about doing it was i just played free for all and i just you know i like i solicited myself i hung around and i no, not solicited i loitered i loitered around you know kind of stayed out of everybody's path and then every time somebody got a spy plane, I shot it down. It's a complete dick move. I'm not saying it's not. It was a dick move. Totally. And I would be pissed off if that happened to me many times during the match. But you know what? I, that's what you have to do. But what do you guys think about Ghost Pro? I know it's like cold-blooded pro where you don't have the damn name over your 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 body, the red name, or the, the crosshairs don't change color. Do you really, do, do you think that it helps you get more kill or stay alive longer so you can get more kills? I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. I can't really tell whether it does or not. I don't think it does that much. I do know that when I was trying to get Ninja Pro and I was playing Domination, when I planted the bomb on Grid, the one that was inside the building, now, I was literally able to lay down and plant that bomb more than once while the enemy was surrounding me and they had no idea what was going on. Maybe they were distracted. I don't know. But I think that Ghost Pro comes in handy depending on what game mode you play. Now, I'm going to replay this a couple times because I thought it was fucking awesome the way I just sprayed these two guys. Here we go again. Ah, got it. All right. But tell me what you guys think. Do you think that it's cheesy? Do you think that, it, you know, it needs to be taken off of, yeah, out of Modern Warfare games? Because Modern Warfare 3 is coming up, and they haven't really confirmed, or I haven't heard of them confirming anything. So I don't know whether it's coming back or not. I don't know. I, I've, I've seen some videos of people saying this has been confirmed, this hasn't been confirmed. I don't fucking know. I haven't really been keeping up with it, you know. It's almost August now, and it's coming out when in November, so I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to get it. I'm definitely going to get it because I prefer Infinity Ward Call of Duty games over Treyarch. I, this is the first time, this is the first Treyarch game I've played. Maybe it's not. This is the first Treyarch Call of Duty game I've played, and I absolutely fucking hate it. 
this game is horrible it's broken and I'm positive I'm not the only one that feels this way that's why when I watch videos of people getting you know multiple dogs in a match or you know three chopper gunners and shit like that or going undefeated I'm like how the fuck are you able to do that because I have literally been in a position where I've had my it happens numerous times where I've had my gun literally pointing at somebody and I'm laying fucking lead into those motherfuckers and I die this is the only game where you can literally bring a knife to a gunfight and win yeah 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 you can bring a knife to a gunfight and win in this game and I have no idea how, why they have not fixed this because I know those motherfuckers at Treyarch play this game I know they know that people are mad as, as hell at it and they decide to do absolutely nothing so in my mind my very 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 I, I don't know my gameplay expertise no my sarcastic expertise I'll say that this is some sort of joke this has to be a joke. This is some sort of inside joke between Treyarch and the joke is apparently on us. Because there's no way in hell that you know that you put out something this flawed and you don't do anything about it. This isn't Sega Genesis. Like, this isn't a cartridge. You can put out a firmware. They just choose not to. So, I don't know. That's my mini rant on Treyarch. Will I get another Treyarch Call of Duty game? Probably not. I just recently bought uh, World at War and... I like it, but there are, there's another fucking thing. That game is full of damn hackers. Every fucking match that I get into is the damn hacker. Uh, I don't, um, advertising his YouTube page. And all they do is they, they run real fast. They jump up in the air. You can't kill them. What the hell do you get out of a game doing that? What's the point? Why do you even play a game? I don't understand that. Fix the game, Treyarch. Jesus Christ fix the game please anyway what, what do you what do you guys what what type of perks do you guys want to see put I mean brought back in Modern Warfare 3 what ideas do you guys have of new perks that you want to see in Modern Warfare 3 what perks do you want to see removed um, I don't know I, I some people think stopping power is cheap I don't. I use it. I think stopper power is is pretty cool. I don't know. It, it boosts up guns like the ACR and, and Modern Warfare 2. So whatever. Bring it back. I know what I damn wish on them don't want to see. I don't want to see no damn second chance. Hell yeah. Really Take that shit out. Don't you ever put second chance in another Call of Duty game again. That that That's like the cheapest thing I've ever seen in a game. And you know what? If... If you have, let's say I have, let's say I have three, five, seven kill streaks, and I'm on my sixth kill, and I kill somebody that's in second chance, and they drop down in the second chance, but they somehow miraculously kill me, then I should be able to get my damn kill. As soon as you drop them in the second chance, you should be able to get that damn seven kill streak because that's that's bullshit. That perk is absolutely bullshit. You get so many cheap kills off of that perk. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. I say just take the damn thing out of the game. It's fucking. It's for. I don't know. It's cheap and horrible. Let's see what other what other perks do they have? Ninja. I like ninja. Uh, I like flak jacket. That comes in handy. Um, I'm on the fence with ghost. I kind of like ghost pro, but I don't know. I don't need it. Fuck. I mean, I've been playing it this long without having ghost or ghost pro. I like hardline myself because, like I said, I want my kill streaks right now. Like, I do not want to wait for those motherfuckers. I want them shits immediately. Let's see. What else? Uh, damn it. What other perks do they have? Warlord, of course, or Bling, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Ah, uh, man. What is it? Uh, one Man Army. I, I heard that One Man Army isn't coming back, which is good, because of One Man Army douchebags who just like to sit on top of that building and fucking airport or whatever it's called a modern warfare 2 anyway like comment subscribe this video is over i'm not having it and i'm out